Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and I just got back from vacationing in the Smoky Mountains, and along the way, I picked up a lot of video footage that I wanted to share with you guys. We'll see some cool things along the way, like stunning mountain views, awesome waterfalls, native elk herds, plants that I've never shown before on this channel, and so much more. So with that being said, I would like to welcome you all to the vacation vlog. It was an awesome trip in the Smokies, and it's a place I've never been before, but always wanted to go. We were there for six days, and there was a lot more I wish I could have filmed, like the Onokonolufti Indian Village in Cherry North Carolina. On the first day we went to the Titanic Museum in Pigeon Forge and I was allowed to film the outside of the museum but nothing inside can be filmed due to copyright law. However this was an absolutely awesome experience if you want to learn about the Titanic. It was very well priced for how long you could spend in there looking, reading, touching, and learning. The outside of the ship is the front half built to half scale which is attached to the office and gift shop for the museum. Inside the museum, you can walk an exact replica of the Grand Staircase, look at third and first class cabins built to scale, walk first class hallways, touch an iceberg, you can feel the slope of the deck as the ship sunk, and so much more. This place was an absolutely awesome experience for children and adults, so it certainly deserves a spot in this vlog, and I would love to go back any time that I possibly could. Now that's not a plug for the museum, it's just something that I really, really enjoyed and wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what's there. That's the only touristy thing that's in this vlog, and the rest is all mountain views, waterfalls, and plants, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog. Here we are on the hike to Laurel Falls. We are almost there. Be here in just a few minutes. I'll show you guys that when we get there. Right now you guys can probably hear the falls right over here. Sound of rushing water is awesome. Beautiful rock walls. Awesome trip in the Smoky Mountains thus far. Did you kill that bear? All right, we have reached the falls. Here you can see these awesome waterfalls. Check this out, guys. You can see all kinds of people relaxing, having a good time. Everybody's filming, taking pictures. Check this out guys, the knot in this tree forms a perfect heart. Look at this. We heart the mountains, how about that? All right guys, let's step in. Nice and cold. Man, this feels good. You see we're down here at the bottom. Here you can see the waterfall. See how big it is. About 100 foot. See all kinds of people relaxing, having fun. You see all these huge boulders just strewn all across this riverbed. This is so cool. Let's go this way. Here's another view so you can see the different size of these boulders. Man, these things are absolutely ginormous. Some of these rocks are the size of a freaking car. Oh, this is super sketchy right here. But man, is it beautiful. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful right here. This is so beautiful. If any of you guys ever want to come to Laurel Falls, this spot behind me is one of the nicest places. I'm not seeing too many people down here, and it's beautiful as can be. This spot is absolutely beautiful. You can see there's not very many people, 
And this is just, I mean, you cannot beat this part right here. This is so beautiful. We have several more waterfalls that we plan on seeing today. So whenever we get there, I'll show you guys that when we get there. Here we are on the way back from Laurel Falls. You can see this awesome view that we're looking at now. This view is absolutely beautiful. We certainly don't get views like this back home. If any of you guys ever visit Laurel Falls, it's absolutely beautiful here. It's a nice short walk, it's kind of steep, but it's beautiful and it's well worth the walk. Especially just for this right here. Let's go downwards a little bit. You can see more of the mountainside. It's interesting to think about that most of the United States and east of the Mississippi used to look like this, covered with trees. One point in time. We're on the way back from Laurel Falls and I thought I'd show you guys this Lobelia inflata. There is quite a bit of this along the side of the trail. Now obviously here in the uh, Great Smoky Mountains National Park, all plants are protected so you cannot pick or dig a single thing. But that's not the important thing. The important thing is to know what each plant is, to know what they look like. You can see, you can see these large inflated seed pods here. These things are starting to inflate rather nicely, so that means it's starting to fill up with its seeds. Here you can see the distinct flower that Lobelia inflata is known for having. And here you may be able to see the white specks along the edges of the teeth on the margins of these leaves. Another one of the key identification factors of Lobelia inflata. You can see more there, and there, there, there's a whole bunch more. There's a bunch of lobelia everywhere. This whole hillside is covered with lobelia and flata. But I thought I'd show you guys that. Whenever we get to the sinks or Meigs Falls, whichever one comes next, I'll show you guys that when we get there. All right, we're here at Meigs Falls, and you can see this lobelia or cardinal flower. This is a cardinal flower. This is one of the varieties of lobelia that exists within the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. This is absolutely beautiful. It has this very distinct lobelia flower, as you can see. The lower three petals hang down, and the upper two are split, and they hang upright. You can see these distinct white dots on the edges of the margins of the leaf. Very thick, stiff stem. This is absolutely beautiful right here. I thought I'd show you guys that. We are going over there. <clears throat> here we are at Meigs Falls. This was an awesome, awesome walk. I had to cross the creek. It was a little slippery, a lot of rapids, but man, is this worth it. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful, guys. This is so beautiful. We got a lot of cardinal flower here. You can see that red off in the distance? That's more of that cardinal flower. You can see all that beautiful red flower there.
Alright guys, we're right outside of Cherokee, North Carolina. One of the only elk herds in the eastern United States is right here in front of me. This is so awesome. Look at this huge bull elk. Oh, if you guys can see this, let me zoom in. Look at this guy. He is massive. thing guys there was one point in time when these elk used to be all over North America they no longer are see all these elk foraging. This is such an awesome sight. If you guys are ever in the Smoky Mountains, you've got to come to Cherokee, North Carolina. This is one huge success story with these elks. Hopefully they can bring this herd back. Say goodbye to the herd of elk. Here you guys might be able to see all this yellow jewelweed. This is another one of the varieties of jewelweed that occurs in the eastern United States. This is absolutely beautiful flower. And just like all jewel weeds, the inside of the throat has these distinct spots that you can see here. It has its distinct leaf pattern like all jewel weeds. And the distinct stem growth that you see with these bumps or these nodes that tend to hold a lot of water. You may see that it's growing right off the slope. You can see the slope here so it receives a lot of drainage and that's what allows this jewel weed to grow. And then right there we can see black-eyed Susan, or Rutabecchia. Very beautiful flower. Beautiful butterfly down there doing its job. All kinds of bees right here. These beautiful flowers. Some other plants that we have in the area are some uh, red clover. You see some balm of Gilead down there. Looks to be some wood sorrel right there. More of the black-eyed Susan or rutabecchias and a big cobweb. Here you can see a common tansy right there with its distinct yellow flowers. Those very deeply dissected fern-like leaves. Looks like we've got something really awesome here. If you look really deep and close, you can see it. 
Oh my god, this flower is beautiful. Mom, come here and look at this. Where'd she go? Come here. This is hog peanut, guys. This is absolutely beautiful. I've never seen one of these flowers in person. It's hog peanut. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've never seen these flowers in person. This is the first time I've ever seen these flowers. I've found them in field guides, and it's the most beautiful flower I have ever seen. Here is another one of the best views in the park that I've seen so far. This is just awesome. Look how far that goes, guys. That is just beautiful. This is why they call it the Smokies. Because it looks smoky as hell. It's almost as if the earth and sky meet in one spot. Here we've got some pretty white flowers. I don't know what these are, but they are absolutely gorgeous. Nothing beats these views. Absolutely nothing. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can get an idea of the scale. I mean, this is absolutely huge. Words cannot describe this view right now. And I know my camera is not doing this justice. You really have to get out here and see this for yourself. Right there, you guys may be able to see some sumac trees. They're not starting to bury or fruit yet. But there's a lot of sumac trees right here on the edge of this clearing. You can see a little bit of mountains through there. But the real view is back this way. 